Hey there, everyone. In our last video, we talked about carving out uh, more interesting forms from basic cube. What we want to do today is instead of carving out, what do we want to add on? So I have a couple of cubes already made, but we'll review the steps to make a cube together. So first things first, remember, in two point perspective, we see the edge first and we always draw what we see first. So we're gonna draw the corner or the edge. Top, bottom, right side goes to the right vanishing point, left side goes to the left vanishing point. I'm drawing dark. You all should be drawing lightly because there's a lot of erasing involved. Make sure you're not just drawing a random line to the horizon line. It needs to be going to the vanishing point. This one here is probably gonna go through my shape. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll draw really, really light, almost like it disappears. But make sure you're actually hitting the vanishing point. Don't forget about it, but see how I kind of made it disappear? So now we have our fence. It looks like that fence going all the way around. Um, what we're going to want to do now is decide how long we want it to be. Your cutoffs, just like in one point, remember, in two point are parallel to the original edge. So I line it up, move it down. Don't do one of these. Make sure it's nice and straight and cut off your shape. Where that intersects, we want to make sure we pay attention to that. Now I'm going to do this side however long or short you want it to be, as long as it's parallel to the original edge. Where that kind of intersects, I make note. I can erase out these unnecessary guidelines. If they're light, they'll erase much more easily. Okay, so now what we need to do is we do a crisscross situation. Here, we're gonna to go to that vanishing point. Here, we're gonna to go to that vanishing point. Line up that point to your vanishing point. Line up this to here. Once that intersects, this doesn't have to be very dark at all because I know I'm gonna erase it. So I made it light. Remember that kind of area right here, right here. That's the intersection, that's the back corner. So everything beyond that gets erased. So that was a quick review in drawing a basic cube. Hopefully you remember those steps. Now, what I wanna talk about doing is instead of carving out, I wanna add on. So what if I want to make, say, something coming out from like either the front or a box on top of a box, so what I'm gonna do is I'm almost gonna draw like the bottom of a box. Say I want it to be kind of growing out of here. Keep in mind, I'm not gonna draw now my edge first. I kinda of wanna draw the footprint. Why I wanna draw the footprint first is I wanna understand kind of how it's related to this part. If I just draw a random line here, uh, I'm kind of guessing on where it's gonna fall. If I draw the footprint how I want it to be, um, it's gonna be much more, more easy to do. Now my footprint is gonna be just a miniature version of this top. So always using the vanishing point, I'm gonna draw a line, kind of that's kind of the, the front part. I'm gonna draw a line for the back part, going to the vanishing point. I'm not drawing it all the way through, but I am not drawing random lines. All of my lines are lining up at the vanishing points. On this side, it's gonna line up to this vanishing point. Now I was pretty good at eyeballing that. You might most likely will have extra or will have to add lines. Here I'm gonna to have to add line or actually erase depending. I'll maybe add. So see, whoops, and erase. I went a little beyond. And here I need to add on a little bit more and I'm going to the vanishing point just making sure that I'm following the rules. So now I have my footprint. It almost looks like it could be a hole. If I wanted to make it a hole, all I would actually have to do is put a line here. And now there's a hole there, which is pretty cool, but that's not what I wanna do. 
what I want to do is have a box grow out from the top of here. So now here's my corner. All this should have been much lighter. You'll see we'll have a, a lot of racing to do. This is where I'm going to draw. I don't want to go beyond my um, horizon line. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I will. Okay, so that's the corner. Top lines up with this, so it's going back to here. This goes here. As long as you understand kind of which vanishing point to use and that you're using your vanishing points, you're good. It's when you stop using vanishing points that you're going to get into trouble. Now this parallel, right? I'm just making, I'm making a new cube. Only problem is I have all these extra lines where it intersects. I stop. All of this is going to get erased including the horizon line where it gets overlapped. Okay. Right here, parallel to the original edge, which was here. Have it line up where it hits that. And I erase the extra line. And I erase all this. So this is not a see-through cube. So now, let me make this a little bit darker here. I have a lot of eraser dust too. We have a cube on top of a cube. Say we want maybe something coming out. Again, I find it easiest to kind of make that where I want to come out so it's coming out in the spot I want it to. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just gonna look a little random. Um, Cause even, even unless you're like a super pro, which none of us are quite yet, um, you need to kind of figure that out. Okay, so see how I drew kind of stopped there. I'm gonna make this parallel. Oh my goodness. I was saying in another video, I have to like have a count, someone count how many times I break my pencil. Be like a jelly bean count. Whoever gets closest wins. Okay. So we erase that. So now we have, again, that little kind of rectangle. And again, if you wanted to do an opening, you would just draw something like that. And then you have that opening, but we're not doing openings. We're having things pop out. So now this is going to be our line. We're having it come out this way now. It's a little more complicated. So here it's going to extend outward from this corner. See what I did there? This corner. Making it dark. Oh, well, let's not go beyond the corner. Now, where we want it to end, which I guess maybe it'll be right here, since that's where one of the lines ended. I'll erase only a little bit. That's going to be kind of that side that corresponds to this side. Does that make sense? I'm going to erase all this. Don't need it. Not see through. So now this is the corner that's closest to me. So now I have to kind of go back to here. But before I do, I've got these kind of, oh, I maybe shouldn't have erased that. This point here is uh, the line that has to correspond to that. So let's draw that out. Do you understand why? I'm going to redraw that. Sorry, guys. I was quick. So this, these two lines are going to come out. That's kind of like the back side coming out. So I'm going to draw from that corner. Drawing it rather lightly. Again, it's going all the way to the vanish point. It's not a random line. This. Again, not a random line. Okay. Need that. You'll see why. Now I could technically erase this. I was a little, I was a little quick to erase. I was eraser happy. So now I have kind of, this is the front wall. This is the side wall. We need this other side. This. 
has to go here. This has to go here. And guess what? Where it intersects, this guy here is where I'm going to stop. So I'm going to draw it nice and dark. Okay. I'm going to draw nice and dark. And theoretically, nice and dark until I hit the line, that should be. Theoretically, every, <laughs> there's theories here. This obviously now corresponds to here. This here to here, here to here, should be in a perfect world, parallel to the original edge if I connect those. And you know what? Pretty good. It's not perfect. But you know, I'm not a, I'm not a robot. I'm not a computer. Um, so you know, we deal. Don't need this anymore. Because it's bottom of the box. Don't need these big circles. I'm gonna erase those because that looks awful silly. Ooh. All of these guidelines get erased. And what I'm gonna do is just darken, making sure when I'm darkening, I'm even going back and checking to make sure it's lining up to the matching point. Again, you're not drawing random lines. Well, that kind of didn't line up. Sorry about that, guys. No random lines. Everything is either parallel to like edges, right? Or if it's going back, it's going back and touching, meeting up at that vanishing point. And let's just make this a little bit darker. Okay. So we got box on top of a box, box coming out of a box. Ooh, my goodness. Let's do something a little bit crazy now, just, just for funsies. What if, and it won't take too long, this box, right? Not only is it coming out from the front or the side here, it's also kind of going behind it. So again, vanishing point. This will get erased, so I'm not really drawing on it, but, oh, my table has cracks in it, and that just made a hole in my paper. This one here. Right, going back. Again, it's going all the way back here. Draw your line wherever you want it to be. Right on the crack. Seems like a good idea. Now this back one is going to go back as well. See, it's lining up. This opposite. Doing kind of the tops and bottoms using the opposite matching points probably going to be the, the most complicated thing for you guys. More you practice, the better you will get. Where it intersects, I stop. Oh, my eraser's getting a little flat on one side. I'm favoring one side of my eraser. That's awesome. So now, not only is it kind of coming out from kind of one side, it's kind of going backwards as well, okay? So continue working on um, making more complicated forms by building on them, um, cutting away, whatever you want. Good luck, guys.